Hello and welcome to Caring for Me, Caring for You, a thought and a prayer for the week. And yes, welcome to Bali. It's a very sunny, hot afternoon today when I'm taping this for you. But it's so wonderful to be here. We're visiting the Sahaja Foundation, which we began here, bringing caregiving into the villages. And I'm going to say a bit more about that in a little bit. I'm Greg Johnson. I'm the president and CEO of GJP International, which is Greg Johnson Partnerships International. And our mission is uniting the world in family caregiving. Now, I arrived here about two weeks ago, and I've spent some quiet time. I also serve as a counselor and therapist in New York, but I have persons with whom I'm counseling all over the world in family caregiving and grief addiction and spiritual direction, and it's always a great honor. But it's also important for me to come away and have some quiet time as well. And so that's what I have been doing for the last two weeks in this absolutely gorgeous setting. Right behind me is the pool, and I'm going to jump into it as soon as I finish this broadcast. It'll be, I think, the second or third time today. It's This is a very warm season here. But it's been an extremely positive time, and a time where I have been spending time giving thanks surrendering, attending meetings. You know I'm in the 12-step program and we have wonderful meetings here each day. And it becomes a wonderful time to strengthen that spiritual connection and be grateful for the Ruach Elohim, the breath of the divine, by whatever name you may call it. And one of the things that I have read, again, I've done it uh, many times before. But I went back, particularly because two very important holidays have happened since I last saw you. One was the Jewish New Year. And to all who celebrated a wonderful and blessed New Year, may it be. And it was also here, Gangan and Kuningen. And Kuningen is a time where the ancestors and the earth folk are very close. The veil between the two worlds is very fluid here in Bali. And it was a special time because it was the 19th anniversary uh, of the death of our son. And so being here and being able to celebrate that was very, very important. But through it all, I kept thinking as I was doing meditation, as I was doing some yoga work, breath, breath. That's where it all comes from. How did life begin and how does it end? The Ruach Elohim, the breath of God, the divine, by whatever name you may call, is that which gives us life. And it took me back to a time when I first came out to New York as a young singer studying at Juilliard and that sort of thing, uh, while I was also at Union. Uh, but one of the things a young singer does is you get a church job. And I had I was the soloist at the uh, St. Paul's uh, Chapel on Columbia University. And I also had the privilege of auditioning for and singing in some of the very fine temples and synagogues in New York. But for a lengthy period, I was part of Community Temple Beth Orr in Brooklyn, 1010 Ocean Avenue. I've never forgotten it. It's now joined with other congregations, but it was so very special. And it was, here's this little boy from Wisconsin who thought he as a Lutheran singing in a Catholic church, boy, that was a big deal. Well, now I came out to New York and I began singing in the temple. And the first real rabbi that I met was Rabbi Samuel Piper, who had been an early, early leader. Now, I met him toward the end of his life, and he was in his 80s, early 90s. I don't remember. It's that long ago. But he was brilliant. He was inclusive. He was loving. And one of the things that he would tell us and remind us of every year, at the New Year time, and I'm reminded of it. I went back, I looked at some of my notes, and I said, yes, I want to share that with you. Because we often talk about God as you understand that word. Now, in the Jewish tradition, the word God is not used. It's Yahweh. But 
Where did that come from? Why H, W, H? Hear the majesty of the divine. Yahweh, we put in an A to give some vowels to it. But if we take out the vowels and just use the four letters as the scholars and the rabbis tell us, Y-H-W-H, separating them, Y-H-W-H. They are really pronounced without vowels. It sounds like what? Breathing. Listen. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. God planted on our lips, in our hearts, and in our souls himself. And so I often tell people when they feel like they can't pray, when they feel totally confused and concerned, Remember, yeah. Boy. Inhale, yeah. Exhale, the name of Jehovah, Yahweh, the divine God. So powerful that words fail to convey the name. But imagine. The gift that the divine gave us in those four letters, no matter what our condition may be, as we breathe in, yeah, and we breathe out, breathe out, boy, yeah, boy. And I've often said to people in your darkest moments, if you can't do anything else, just simply lie there. I've often done this with people who are about to do surgery, just as the anesthesia comes into. God. God. Yeah. Yeah. May that bless you. May that bless your year. May that bless your life. And may it help you to see how all of these treasures of yoga and meditation and prayer come together and were given to us by the divine, whose name we hallow and bless. Now, before I close, our prayer is the prayer that I have been using recently. It was the divine prayer, one that, as I talk about, I paid $67 to get, and I am in love with it. And I begin each and every day here in Bali and end it with this, the divine prayer. And so I'm going to do that for you and with you right now. Now, just take a moment. Glorious source of all, in the gentle cadence of life's dance, from morning's first light to evening's soft, trance. Bless us with moments both humble and grand, and hold our endeavors in your gracious hand. For the blessings we see, the laughter, the joy, the moments so free, and for those unnoticed, silently sown in the background of life, quietly grown, bestow upon us the gift of your sight, to recognize blessings hidden from light, in the kindness of strangers, in tears that cleanse, in challenges that guide, in love that mends. May our hearts be vessels, overflowing with gratitude, void of any wrestles. For the abundance you give, both big and small, remind us to cherish and honor them all. Grant us the wisdom to share and extend these blessings we receive as both giver and friend, to amplify goodness, to be your hand's extension, spreading love, hope, and joy without apprehension. In the canvas of life, as blessings unfold, 
Let gratitude paint stories brilliantly bold. May every heart beat, each breath that we take, be a symphony of thanks for the blessings you make. I hope you will take that prayer into your heart and perhaps play it over again and again, as I do, for I feel it a great blessing and great joy. And now... I send to you love and blessings from Bali, and I ask that you consider, you'll see on Facebook page, a gift during February, during November, which is National Family Caregiver Month, to the Sahaja Foundation. I'm doing it as a celebration for my 78th birthday, and we're trying to get funding so that they can get a van to get into the villages with all the resources that are used to train and to teach the family caregivers here in Bali. The donating factor or the entity is Care CFA. All the instructions are on the Facebook page. And I would be deeply grateful if you would consider, no matter how small or how large, helping us to help the caregivers here in Bali. Until then, God bless, and as we always say, onward in love and caregiving. Namaste. God bless, and I'll see you real soon. Time for a swim. <laughs>